What's up, everybody? There's no running trains today. It's uh, a little snowy. So I thought I would do a video about this battery car. Um, <clears throat> something I did with Airwire and something that I questioned with uh, RailPro if I could do. And they really, he said he thinks you could do it, but he really didn't have much input. So, um, I mean, he did, but it was a lot of technical jargon that I honestly don't understand. I'm, I'm simple-minded. So uh, what I have here is the remnants of a, an old battery charger. Uh, and I used my screw gun batteries for this. And um, <clears throat> you can actually get two batteries and a charger uh, on Amazon for like a hundred bucks shipped. And these are, 18 volt, two amp hour or whatever that is. But I have six in total, so I can swap them out easily. So um, inside the car, there is the Rail Pro board. I'm just gonna kinda, you know, there you go. There's the Rail Pro board. I mounted it up on blocks of wood so it wouldn't get too hot on the plastic. I wasn't really sure if that was an issue or not. And then you can see the very simple wiring is power coming in and power coming out. And that power coming out is transferred right to an MU cable. Now at the other end of the car, and this is something I did not have with Airwire, um, is a speaker. And that speaker is obviously mounted to the floor and I drilled a bunch of holes to let the sound out. Now this is probably, I don't know, this car is probably 25 years old, or it's, it's old. So I didn't have a problem hacking it up for this purpose. And actually, um, after doing all that, um, I should have used a newer car because it gets literally the most runtime. So um, <clears throat> what I had questioned about the Rail Pro was how many different sounds can I add to this particular board? So I just, you know, it's kind of hokey, but um, there's a light switch there that throws power to the Rail Pro board. Let's turn the remote on. And um, I had four days off, and then we got a snow day today, so I had some extra time to mess with this. So um, right now this is, I have four Real Pro decoders and one of them is in this lovely box car, which is kind of cool. You can take a picture of whatever you have and load it in. So we'll select the box car. Um, and I have gotten rid of every button except for the ones that are necessary in this trailing car. So actually we can, <clears throat> I don't know, it's probably not gonna show up because they're not on. Yeah, they don't show up. But um, in a normal situation under the locomotives, there's the option to have, I think 16 buttons, yeah, eight on each page. So this, um, I just have two different kinds of bells, um, a horn, a whistle, and a motor. And on the next page, I have nothing. So you go back to the first page, <clears throat> I mean, we have the whistle for steam. A bell that I liked for steam. A bell that I liked for diesel and a horn that I like for diesel. So what I have different is, is I have one button that just says motor on it and I can actually toggle between three different motor sounds. 
Now I had been experimenting with this and I had three different motor buttons on here. I got rid of the other two, as you can see the other two spaces are blank. Um, it can't handle having three different buttons. Um, it's gotta be one button for the motor sound. So for this first sound, um, this is actually Steam Light on the Rail Pro website. And when you start turning up the speed, and this is hooked up to a steam engine, for example, you got the steam sound. So I'm gonna do this in real time, just so you can see what I did here. Um, again, I deleted all of the other sounds off of the decoder. I didn't just get rid of the buttons, I got rid of the sounds also because the sound files take up memory. So if you go into tools and you go to the buttons page, which is right here, the first button it shows steam light, that's what we just heard. If I change the sound to let's say the Alco, and then exit page, save, and then exit page, and we're back here. Now I've got Alco sounds coming out here. It just so happens there's an Alco sitting right there. Turn the speed up. Alco sound to Shea. Exit. Save. Exit. Now, initially I thought, boy, this is kind of a pain in the neck, but in reality, if I hook this battery car up to the Shea or the Alco or one of the steam engines, it's not like I'm gonna be switching it around every five seconds. And so far this video has been eight minutes and we're gonna go through the third sound. So I don't really think that, that it can handle more than three sounds. Um, but here's the Shea. that's pretty cool. Um, not only do I have a battery car that can plug into any one of my engines, now I can adjust the sound. And if I set up another battery car, I might just do a couple more diesel sounds on it um, for the other diesel, diesel engines I have. So I got a little test run track set up here. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, this is steam light.
can't change the timing on this. But I don't think it's terrible. through movie magic we now have the alco hooked up this is an rs3 uh, another aristocrat train so let's see how we do here I do have a sound set at 50%. Outside, 75% seems to be good. Okay, here we have the Shea. Now, the Shea spends most of its life in a display case. Um, and I had it out yesterday while experimenting with this. And it seems that power going to the rear truck is intermittent so um, <clears throat> we'll just see if we can get through this so here's the shea timing's a little off Adjust the load on this down to zero, um, and then I'm wondering if I go into tools. I shut the. You have to make sure all the sound and everything is off before making adjustments in the tools. I don't know if there's going to be. Um, chuff rate. Yeah, here we go. Uh, it's already set down to the lowest possible. As you saw, uh, it started to chuff before it started to move, but let's see. Uh, I always just save every time I exit out of the tools. So we'll, we'll see if what it does in reverse. Yeah, 
has that rare truck. So I think running, that'll look fine. Starting up, it's kind of weird. Unless that's what they sound like before they're even moving. I don't know. There it is. I think uh, I'm really happy with this system so far. Any questions, leave them in the comments.